Hey, what's up, everybody? Trofinet here, and welcome back to Gwentech. In this show, we talk about interesting Gwentechs to play around with or discuss what makes this game tick. And that is exactly what we'll be doing today. If you've spent any amount of time in Gwent, you know about gags. You earned some, you bought some from Shoop, and you've let the big boy smash them between his massive fists to amass new cards. These cards vary in rarity from white common cards, blue rare ones, purple epic cards, and finally the elusive orange legendary cards. You get five cards from each keg, as you know, where the first four can be anything from the set that the keg draws from, and the fifth one being at least a rare card. On top of that, Gwent allows you to choose your fifth card by giving you a choice between three cards from the same rarity. So if you're lucky enough to pull a legendary as your fifth card, you'll immediately be able to choose between three of them instead of randomly being assigned one, which allows for more chances of getting the card you want. If you manage to reach level 60 for the first time, you'll also gain a perk which makes one of your first four cards a guaranteed rare card or higher as well, increasing your chances at better cards even further. So Gwent is very generous, but we can't say for sure what those chances are precisely. I reached out to CDPR to get official numbers, but they don't give them out to anyone. Players have done extensive research into this, however, and have come up with a series of numbers that are close to the actual percentages, but since these can be changed by CDPR at any time, I don't want to talk about those numbers in today's video. Instead, I want to focus on something a bit more useful. There are so many different types of kegs in this game right now that it can be a bit overwhelming to decide which one is best for you. So in this video, we'll attempt to answer this question. If I'm looking for a specific card but can't craft it with scraps, which kegs do I need to buy to have the most chance of getting that specific card? Let's first go over all the different types of kegs to understand how we make that decision properly. The most common keg you get since the last patch actually just changed from the base set keg to the ultimate keg. The base set keg used to pull from the original set of cards from the base game, hence the name, for a total pool of 453 cards. The ultimate keg, however, pulls from all cards in the game for a total of 902 cards, almost double the pool of the base set keg. This effectively halves your chances of getting a specific card at any time. For the purpose of our main question, remember we're looking for a specific card, this is actually a very bad change. We'll come back to the ultimate gag later in this video, since it's only bad in a very specific situation, however. If you're wondering why my numbers are different than the ones you can see on the Play Gwent website, I counted all cards manually in the deck builder of the game, while I'm pretty sure the website counts all cards that exist. Even if you can collect these cards separately, such as the different forms of the evolving cards, token cards and leader cards, which explains why there is a lot less in the deck builder than the total numbers that the Plague Went website gives you. Since you can't directly collect those cards, however, I don't count them. But back to kegs. Aside from the ultimate kegs, we also have faction kegs, one for each faction for a total of six different kegs. Monsters, Nilfgaard, Northern Realms, Squirtel, Skellige and Syndicate. Each of these faction kegs pulls from all cards of that faction regardless of expansion. For most factions, this boils down to 114 cards in total, except for Syndicate which for some reason has 120. Each of these has a lot smaller card pool than the ultimate and base set keg, which automatically increases your chances of getting the card you want. These also allow you to focus your resources into one specific faction, which is ideal for starting players who want to build out a deck for one specific faction. We'll get into the actual numbers in a minute. The final category of kegs are the expansion kegs. There have been five expansions so far, Crimson Curse, Novigrad, Iron Judgment, Merchants of Ophir, and most recently, of course, Master Mare. These expansion kegs only pull from the cards introduced in their matching expansion. The totals here are 101 cards for Crimson Curse, 91 for Novigrad, 81 for Iron Judgment, 70 for Merchants of Ophir, and 71 for Master Mare, the latest expansion. As you can already see, the expansion kegs 
actually pull from a significantly smaller pool even compared to the faction kegs, making it more likely to pull the card that you want. But let's dive even deeper than just that. Since the chances of getting a rare, epic or legendary card are the same across all the kegs, we don't need to keep those chances in mind when deciding which keg is the one we want to buy to get a specific card. Because of this, we can compare kegs by calculating how much chance you have to get a specific card for any rarity when you actually pull a card from that rarity. That might sound a bit complicated, so let's go with an example. So, if you're looking for Harold on Crate, because why not, he's a very strong legendary card that can be found in both the Ultimate Kegs, the Skellig Faction Kegs and the Master Mirror Kegs. We will compare the chances of pulling him when you actually get a legendary card as your fifth card in any of these kegs. So only if you actually pull a legendary card. Let's start with the Skalliger keg. There are 27 legendaries available in those kegs. Your chances of getting Harold out of those 27 is 3.7%. But as we said before, Gwent is very generous in this regard and gives you the choice between three different legendaries, they're guaranteed to be different, if you get one as your fifth card tripling your chances to 11.1% when you actually pull a legendary card. So keep that in mind. When you pull a legendary card, you have 11.1% chance to pull that card, Herald, from the Skellige Keg. Not bad, right? The Master Mirror Keg, however, only has 21 legendaries in its pool, making the single chance go up to 4.76%, which, when tripled, gives you a whopping 14.28% chance to pull Herald. So 3% more than the Skellige keg, proving that what we just said before. In general, in the expansion kegs, the ults are slightly more in your favor to get the card you want. So if you have the choice, go for the correct expansion keg. On the other end of the spectrum, just for fun, the ultimate keg has 240 legendaries to choose from, making the triple chance, so not the single chance, the triple chance between those three cards, only 1.23%. 10% less than the Skellige Keg and 13% less than the Master Mirror Keg. Which begs the question, what is the point of the Ultimate Keg? We'll get to that in a minute. But first, I want to walk you really quickly through the percentage differences between the Faction Kegs and the Expansion Kegs per rarity. Faction Kegs are pretty consistent across all six factions, aside from Syndicate, because they have a few more cards, making the odds a little lower for each in Syndicate itself. From now on, I'll always talk about the triple chances, so the chances you get a specific card you want in those last three cards, which is why the chance is tripled. We just discussed Legendaries with the Herald example. Faction Kegs give you around 11% chance to get a specific Legendary, while the expansions vary a bit. Crimson Curse and Novigrad have the same chance as Master Mirror with 14.28 as we just discussed and this drops down to 12.5% for Iron Judgment kegs and back to 11% for Merchants of Ophir because of the legendary stratagems that were introduced there. So if you want the legendary from that expansion it doesn't really matter if you go for the faction or the expansion kegs because the chance is basically the same. Epics, so the purple cards, have a different percentage spread. So faction kegs give you around 9% chance to get the epic card you want, while expansion kegs actually ramp this up a lot more with than compared to the legendaries. Crimson Curse, for example, gives you around a 10% chance. Novigrad gives you 12% chance to get the epic card you want. Iron Judgment goes up to 17.64%. And both Merchants of Ophir and Master Mirror clock in at around 20% because of the very low amount of epic cards in those expansions. So for epic specifically, definitely grab the expansion keg if you want an epic card from those expansions. Rares are very plentiful since you'll get at least one or maybe two if you have the level 60 perk in every keg, but those end up with a 12% chance in faction kegs and something between 13.62% for the least amount in the uh, expansion kegs and 21.42% depending on the expansion. Again, more chance in the expansion kegs, so why would you ever pick a faction keg? Well, faction kegs actually guarantee that you get all cards of the same faction. 
Duh. But that means that you can focus your resources into one type of deck, making it the best way for newer players to make specialized decks. Take a faction and within just a couple of kegs, you'll have enough cards to make at least a simple faction specific deck. The chances of getting a specific card that you can also get in an expansion keg are lower, but you trade that for the guarantee that you can use all the cards that you get and none of them are wasted. But if you want to finish your collection in a more directed way, pick the expansion kegs. If you're not sure to what expansion the card you're looking for belongs to, you can always check the deck builder and view the card in detail. The card's set is indicated in the top right with a very lovely icon that matches the expansion it belongs to. Which leads us to the final topic of this video, new ultimate keg. If you've been following the calculations, you might know where this is going. The chance to get a specific legendary card you want from an ultimate keg is 1.23%. For an epic card it goes down to 1.12% and for a rare card it goes back up to 1.68%. But regardless, these are abysmal chances and as we saw before, it's about half of what the old base set keg had with, uh, in regards to chances. You might think that it doesn't really matter because you can get those cards in the other kegs, right? The faction or the expansion kegs. The ultimate keg is just for one you want to spin the wheel and make your rewards more random. Well, there's one specific group of cards that you cannot get out of the other kegs, and those are the original neutral cards from the base game. A lot of these contain some of the most iconic characters from The Witcher, so like a lot of the, most of the Geralt cards, uh, Yennefer cards, Triss cards, and stuff like that, Siri cards as well. So it's sad that specifically those cards are now a lot harder to get from Kag specifically. But aside from that, the ultimate Kag doesn't really change much. Let's not forget that Gwent is relatively generous with all of its resources, including the card scraps that you can use to create any card you want. If you're looking for a specific card and don't get it after a number of Kags following the rules in this video, chances are you have enough card scraps after that collected in the process to just make the card you want. And that is really the beauty of the system. So once more, if you're new and looking to expand in one specific faction, go for the faction kegs. If you're looking for a specific card that is in one of the expansions, buy a few expansion kegs from Shoop to Smash. And if you're feeling really lucky, buy that ultimate keg. But most of all, have fun playing this amazingly beautiful game, because every card, even the common ones, are graced with gorgeous art pieces. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the ultimate guide to Gwent kegs. How do you feel about Gwent's rewards in general? And of course the keg system in particular. Let me know in the comment section down below and we can discuss it further there. Do you feel it's generous or have you opened too many single rare card kegs to trust in the system anymore? Just also let me know. If you're aching for more videos, you can check out my art secrets in Gwent videos or any of my deck guides right here or in the backlog in my channel. Just check that out. Any feedback, as always, is greatly appreciated. And check me out on Twitter at atrophynuts, that's T-R-O-V-N-U-T, if you want to talk. And if you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like? Any support is greatly appreciated. Thanks enormously for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Gwent Edge. Goodbye.